it's one of the things that we're going to, to, to hit is when it gets really cold, people are not going to be able to afford to heat their own homes and they want to go to a place which is warmer. After the Cost of Living Summit, which is today, there will be a, a decision at some point that's going to be made to help fund warm hubs. Uh, we're also going to be liaising with our uh, voluntary sector organisations and uh, church organisations to see what buildings can be used uh, as we approach the winter time. Fuel poverty has such a negative connotation. People are almost scared to even have the conversation about fuel poverty and talk about it. Um, but if we change the perspective and, and kind of normalise speaking about fuel poverty and that you know it's okay you fall into these situations and focus on the solution um, that would also help as well. We want also a lot of churches are looking at doing warm welcome so having the buildings open so that people can come and, and sit and somewhere warm um, and, and you know we're happy to do that but again we've got to meet the fuel bills. Some of them are going up tenfold there's a lot of, of pressures every which way but the most depressing thing for me is like, you know, our own budgets we can manage, we'll sort it somehow. Um, but it's the impact of just person after person, not enough money for the heating. It's too many being evicted under Section 21 at the moment. I mean, the other thing that we're seeing is this increase in uh, damp and mould. And damp and mould is because they're not putting the heating on. And they, more, more importantly, they're not ventilating the properties because the little heat they have got, they don't want to let out the window. The council is building zero carbon homes. So those homes are obviously designed to try and keep bills as low as possible. And we're trying to retrofit some of our, our existing housing stock as well to try and minimise people's bills.